over the past several years there's been a huge increase in popularity for streamers to do IRL content just chatting content as well as a rise in mobile gameplay being streamed and because of this content creators are looking for more services to help them do this at a higher quality without having to break the bank in order to do it if you're a live streamer looking to do more IRL content or maybe even stream your mobile gameplay at a high quality without having to pay anything you're going to want to stay tuned for this video welcome back to the stream loots youtube channel where we talk about everything streaming and stream loots my name is preacher and in today's video we're going to be talking about an app called prism if you haven't heard of prism prism is a platform that lets you multi-stream to twitch youtube facebook periscope and a ton of other platforms it's free it has a really user-friendly user interface with a ton of special effects and editing options and it can run up to 1080p quality. In other words, it's kind of like a fancy mobile OBS. Today, we'll show you how to set up Prism as well as go over some of the basic user interface features to help you get started. With that being said, let's get into it. So first thing is first, we're gonna download the Prism app from either the Google or the Apple Store. Simply look up Prism Live Studio and then download the application. Once you've downloaded the application, you can then log into your account. Once you've logged into your account, you can change the stream download quality. Uh, first click on the top right avatar and then click on stream download quality, depending on what your phone or your signal can support. You can turn off the watermark that pops up randomly. And there's also a huge big effects library that you can use before and while you're live by looking at the bottom left of the screen. There's a ton of filters that are in the bottom right that also can be changed whenever you want. And you can even do some pro camera edits by clicking on the three dots in the top left. You can flip the camera. You can save the video after you stream. You can also toggle the mic on and off and even turn off the camera if you're just looking to stream your game or your microphone. Once you have everything set the way that you want, you can click start your stream and then hit ready. You're going to want to make sure that the account you want to stream to is connected, whether it's one or multiple platforms. You can click on the title for each platform and edit it the way that you'd like. And if you're streaming to Twitch, you can select your category as well. Once you've done that, simply hit go live and you are all set to go. Now, if you want to capture your phone's screen, select screencast and you're all set. And Prism is literally that simple. Now, you can't add things like Streamlab sources and overlays just yet, so that is a downside with Prism at this point. And if you want to use your camera while you're streaming gameplay from your phone, it might be a little bit more difficult because some of the controls will be blocked that you might normally have access to. Other than that, Prism is an incredible app that I highly recommend anybody giving a shot if you're looking to do more IRL and mobile gameplay to kind of explore that arena and expand your audience and expand your content and that's it for this video you guys we know that it's a really short one but we wanted to get this in front of you as soon as possible because we know that as a content creator you're always looking for ways to expand your content and your audience and we felt that prism was a great opportunity for us to talk about something that can help you continue to make a living doing what you love if you like this video if it was helpful for you in any way shape or form please let us know by giving us a thumbs up and if you have any comments if you've tried this uh this particular app out before and you uh, want to share some thoughts about it please let us know in the comment section below as always to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the future content that we have coming out thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video